Well, we're going to continue our uh, discussion with uh, Dayton's interventional radiology. I got it all out straight with some other procedures with our next doctor, Matt Sebastian, everybody. Hey, uh, ho! You know that guy, don't you? I do. How you doing? I see him every day. Thank you for coming. Bob, how you doing? Some questions I'd like to ask you. There's something uh, I didn't discuss with uh, Dr. Syed is um, we've all heard the term orthoscopic surgery. And uh, that is a great procedure because years ago, as you know, they used to cut the knee over and blah, blah, blah. But this term, fluoroscopic uh, fluoroscopic back examination. Now, how does that work, this fluoroscopic? Fluoroscopic just refers to x-rays, mm -hmm. so basically a fluoroscopic back examination. Mm -hmm. If you're having back pain, we don't know where it's coming from. There's so many different things that could be causing back pain. So what really helps is, at our clinic, we can take people, put them on our x-ray machine, actually press on their back, see where the pain's coming from. I got x-ray and I go, oh, it's right there. There's the problem. And now I can sort of direct our treatment towards that area and sort of having to guess, is it the muscle, is it the bone or nerve? Don't know. But it, when we press on it and see exactly where the pain is, it gives us a much uh, better idea where to start. This tissue I talked about earlier uh, in the green room with you between the vertebrae. Um, Your disc. Yeah. The disc is very delicate. And it, when you have a bulging disc, you, you have a method to solve that problem also. We do. Uh, we are actually offering uh, endoscopic, which is sort of like arthroscopic. Mm -hmm. Arthroscopic refers to looking mm -hmm. at a joint. Endoscopic just u means using a small camera. And now we have uh, different treatments. Instead of having a big incision, be having your back cut open, we can do endoscopic uh, discectomies, which means we can go in with the camera, look at that bulging disc, see the part that's bulging, and sort of grab it and pull it back in. Do you do all the procedures or is there one specific that you, you, you mainly do? Uh, we do a wide variety of procedures, just like uh, Dr. Sai had mentioned earlier. We basically do minimally invasive image guided procedures. That's what a vascular and interventional radiologist do. We all have sort of our favorite stuff. I like doing more surgical and vascular work. Uh, but all of it's no, good. back, back, that's my, I want to do that one today. That's mm -hmm. my favorite. <laughs> yeah, we all sort of rotate through. Rotate it. We're all uh, 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 board certified and uh, fellowship trained in minimally invasive procedures. Now, these procedures that you're doing, when you first started in medicine, how did you get involved with these guys? How did that all come about for you? These guys have known them for a long time. I've actually been down in Dayton now for about two and a half years. I was uh, practicing up in Toledo. Uh, met them a long time ago. Actually, our other partner is not here, Dr. Marar, uh, I went to medical school with, and mm -hmm. he's been telling me to come down to Bay Dayton. We got a good thing going, and came down, saw for myself, and we do. And you're right here in Dayton, and you're not associated with any particular hospital at all. You're your own organization, is that true? That's correct. We're mm -hmm. a standalone, independent uh, practice. Of all the people that come into you, what you guys have observed, what would be the most common ailment people have, this is what I've got and it's driving me crazy. Is it back? Is it that's knees? Just, or? That's combinations, back pain and really? leg pain. We, we do comprehensive back and leg pain for whatever the cause. And a lot of times you don't know what the cause is. Is it your bones? For fractures, especially people winter like this, fall, break a bone in their back, we have procedures for that like kyphoplasty where we go in, put cement in, into the bone directly. It's like putting the cast on the inside instead mm -hmm. of the outside. You have, uh, could be nerve pain due to a disc pressing on a nerve. We do imaging, find out what's causing the, if there's a disc there pressing on the nerve and we have different treatments for that. Uh, it could be muscle pain. And if you're having leg pain, it could be nerve, could be veins, Does or it could be arteries. Does diet play a part in any of these leg pains, like people that drink too much acid, like in coffee and iced tea, can that cause problems in the? Oh, your diet where you have a high cholesterol diet. Yeah. yeah. That throw some smoke in on that, that can block yeah. your arteries and uh, cause leg pain. Just like if I went and strangled you right now, your head's not going to feel too good. Your legs don't feel good when right. they don't, doesn't get any blood. Did you hear that, Tim? Smoking. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Smoking. Smoking? Don't make me call your parents. Oh, no, not my parents. I'm <laughs> trying to get him to quit smoking. See, the band, Anybody. The Anybody. band's been down in some McDonald's there, too. So. Uh-oh. I'll pass out my card a little later. <laughs> <laughs> 
And you've been with the organization how long now? About a little over two years. Two years. Yeah. And it, the way you guys talk about it, you guys are in heaven. I mean, it's such a great idea. You're, you've got your own organization. You're not dependent on any rules and regulations that may or may not restrict your practice. You've got your own thing going there. So that was a great deal for you guys to put this whole organization together. Sounds like heaven to me. It is good. The main thing is help people find, mm -hmm. for the pain aspect, to uh, find non-narcotic solutions to pain and also you do have to have to do a procedure to do it in the most minimally invasive way possible. Sure. Uh, in some cases they didn't have to uh, fall or get in an accident for some of these things to develop that you guys work on. Not, not necessarily a fall but like you said it could be diet and some other factors that don't mean you, I got a back pain one because I fell there's something else going on there. Diet or just a yeah. lifetime of hard work can <laughs> yeah. get you in bad shape. Well, thanks for coming. You thanks for having us. us. Where are you I might uh, have to located? come to see you. We're uh, our office is in Kettering. Kettering? Yeah. And, uh, Dorothy Lane and Dixie Highway. Well, thanks for coming. I appreciate that. Thank you.